Unraveling the Role of a Contributing Author Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating aspect of the English language, especially for those of you interested in writing, publishing, or academic research. We're going to explore what it means to be a contributing author. Understanding this term is not only crucial for your English language mastery but also for navigating the world of published works more effectively. So, let's get started. A contributing author is someone who has played a significant role in the creation of a written work but is not the primary or sole author. This term is commonly used in the context of books, research papers, and articles. Contributing authors may have provided expertise on a specific topic, contributed a chapter, or added significant research findings to the work. Their contribution is valuable and merits recognition, but it doesn't warrant primary authorship status. Being listed as a contributing author can be a matter of pride and a significant step in one's professional or academic career. It signifies that the individual has sufficient expertise and knowledge to contribute to a scholarly work or publication. This role can enhance one's resume, expand professional networks, and open up opportunities for further research or writing projects. Moreover, it highlights the collaborative nature of many writing projects, especially in academic and scientific communities. Becoming a contributing author typically involves 1. Networking with primary authors or editors in your field of expertise. 2. Demonstrating your knowledge or research skills, often through previous publications or professional experiences. 3. Contributing a unique perspective, research findings, or a well-written piece that complements the main work. It's important to communicate effectively with the main author or editor and to understand the expectations and requirements for your contribution. As a contributing author, you have certain rights, such as being credited for your work and having a say in how it's presented. However, you also have responsibilities, including ensuring the accuracy and integrity of your contribution, respecting deadlines, and following any agreements made with the primary author or publisher. It's a role that carries both prestige and obligation. Being a contributing author is a significant role that comes with its own set of rewards and responsibilities. Whether you're aiming to expand your professional network, build your resume, or contribute to the body of knowledge in your field, understanding this role can open many doors. We hope this video has shed some light on what it means to be a contributing author and how you can achieve this title. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insightful content. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more learning adventures. See you in the next video.